Hi guys, it's Jamie. Welcome or welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. And of course, as you can see, we are saving our J-Bucks. And there is a few in there. There's only like three in there for right now. But I've been going through and trying to get the J-Bucks all straightened out and put in here. That's our, our little mini savings that we're doing. Um, and of course, I brought back Lucy and Stella's penny challenge for the month and we have got it over there in the big jar uh, of course you are going to see we are starting over we had to cash our change in and get caught up on a bill so we are restarting sorry for the the speech problem I'm having um, they're going to do uh, some oral surgery type deal uh, on my lower jaw and there is like a mass underneath the jawbone that they got to try to get out and depending on the size and whatever um, they may have to pull all the teeth. So, we're, I'm stressing over that, but you know it is what it is. We got to get it out and see what that mass is. So, what we are going to do is we're just going to pray and hope for the best and do what we can with what we got. Over here is some of the money that I have put back for the car insurance. Uh, all of my pay from... The restaurant has been going to the bank and getting caught up on some bills and then this is $156 that I've got back for the car insurance. Um, I have have gotten some tips and I done went through these and there's no J-Bucks in them. So this is going to the bank Thursday and it will pay the car insurance. So that's that. So. I just wanted to jump on here and give you a brief update on what's going on and hopefully I won't be off work for too too many days I'll be bouncing back and going in and doing my job and it's okay to start over if you have to guys it happens I mean unexpected things come in and you know you just got to do what you can with what you got and you know don't stress the the rough stuff guys so to finish this one out we need 18 cents so we'll just go ahead and pour this out there's not much i just like i said i just wanted to come on here and give you all a brief update of what i was doing and what's going on and sorry i've been away uh it's just been really busy you know at the restaurant trying to get it open trying to get it staffed trying to make sure the waitresses are doing their job uh, keeping up with inventory and my dog is wagging it or scratching outside the door and it sounds like somebody's banging on it so sorry for that interruption so we have got we need 18 so 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18. 18 will finish April off. So it is 4.65 saved for April. And like I said, this this did come from Lucy and Stella's, uh, their Etsy shop. She also done me a quarter challenge. I got a hold of her and she fixed me a quarter challenge. So... I don't know if I'll bring that one back or just try to do, I think I'm just going to try to do one at a time, guys, because it kind of gets stressful when you're overwhelmed with things and you just feel like, you know, you watch these other YouTubers who's stashing thousands and thousands of dollars and you're like, why can't I do that? Well, for one, uh you are low income and that's okay i'm considered in the 200 percent federal 
guidelines of below poverty, which, you know, I got a roof over my head, I got food in the, ta or in the refrigerator, and we're working, uh, you know, I got three hots and a cot, so that's all that matters. I mean, yes, it would be nice not to be able to stress over certain things, but it's okay. It's okay. I got my wonderful husband, who we just celebrated our 33rd anniversary together, being married, but we have actually been together for 34 years. And it is such a wonderful life together. I mean, it's had its ups, its downs, its sideways, and the in the doghouse routine and everything like that but you know we've had a wonderful life together we got three wonderful boys we got jonathan and thomas and michael they are the apples of my eyes <laughs> although sometimes they do give me a little stress it's okay but i love my babies so let's see what we got next. Let's do this one down here. Let's go with the 61. Let's go with the highest number. 50, 61. There goes my crazy cat. You all miss Luna. She's my little, my little black cat. She, she's crazy. I mean, she is just absolutely crazy. She gets in her spell, and she gets to zoomies, and when she gets to zoomies, it upsets the older, the older male, Simon, which he thinks he owns me, which, you know, he really does. And they'll start fighting, and he'll get mad, and he'll hem her down, and then she gets mad, and she starts getting that, I call it the squirrel tail, where her tail gets all buzzed out and they're fighting and going on and I'm like you all need to quit and they just turn around and look at me and then she comes after me and I'm like wait a minute hold up girlfriend I'm the one that gives you your treats and feeds you don't be messing with me and I have got to go find my coffee cup so I'll be right back guys sorry about that I get dry mouth really bad so getting back to it Simon, his whole um, routine has changed. He's getting older, and it's kind of worrying me. You know, before, you know, when I get home from work, you know, I'd have to give him his candies and pet on him for a minute, and then he would go do his thing, go stick his head in my shoe or somebody's shoe. He buries his head in the shoes and goes to sleep. Well, for the last couple of weeks now, he has actually started, um, at night when I get out of the shower and get in the bed, he'll come and jump on my nightstand, and I'll have to scoot over for him to lay next to me. And I'm thinking, oh, Lord, please don't let my, my baby be getting older and going to pass away on me because... I just don't want to deal with that right now with everything else I'm going through. But I notice now that he's starting to sleep a lot and he's not very active and he gets really irritated at the girls. And see, right now, well, I wish y'all could see, right now he's looking at Blossom like, I'm going to smack you because she's laying on his pillow. And, you know, I know... I can't have them around forever, but they're my babies, and I'm just, like, really, really stressing out over that. So, anyway, I went to the ears, nose, and throat doctor, and they done a culture. Uh, he said he didn't think it was cancer, which, you know, is good, considering the other part that I'm dealing with right now. Uh, he did a culture, got to let it grow for two weeks, and he told me to call him back and see what it is. He thinks it's a really bad case of thrush because I've, I've tried everything, you know, the high antibiotic, the, um, 
the swish and swash in the mouth to try to get rid of it but he thinks that you know i need to change my diet <laughs> cut out my caffeine cut out my sugars cut out my breads cut out my sweets and I, I told him i said do you want me to go to jail and he said no i said well if you cause me to have to give up my caffeine my nicotine my which i do need to quit smoking guys i know i know i do and i've been trying really hard to curve it down I said, but my caffeine and my, and my sweet. <sighs> so, we are going to be doing a, well, I'm not going to let the others suffer from mine. But, you know, we went through all the things. Do you have asthma? Do you take a steroid? Uh, do you uh, been through radiation treatment? Uh, you know, and all this. And I'm like, no. And he said, are you diabetic? And I'm like, no. And he said, uh, well, let's just take a culture and see what we can figure out it is. So hopefully soon we can figure it out. So I do have a lot of dry mouth and stuff going on and I'm having coffee with my sisters, you all, my sister's cup. And I promise I'll shut up, but I just, I haven't been with you guys in a while and I just wanted to give you an update on what's going on. So we are going to knock out number 60 and we are going to try to get through life, live life like tomorrow is not coming because you know we're not promised tomorrow and it's the end of May and for us Christian believers who believe in God and everything, you know, the Lord said you can shorten your time on earth. And, you know, we have been saying, gosh, where has time gone? It's already the end of May. You know, that could be God's way of shortening our time. But, you know, and I don't, I don't judge anybody, you know, if you believe in God or if you don't believe in God. Uh, it's okay. You all be you. I'm not, I'm not here to down anybody or anything I think you know you live your life the way that you want to and not the way other people expect you to or think you should you're your own individual person you make your own destiny in life and I mean you could be dealt the worst hand in life as a child but it's up to you to change that you know, be, be who you want to be. And, you know, there's so much going on in this world right now. Everybody is just stressing on everything. So let's see what we got. 50. We'll just go ahead and do 51. We'll just jump around the board. We'll just go ahead and do 51. You don't have to do straight up in a row. You can jump around your board. It's okay. I'm going to jump around my board. Give it some different color like I did the other faces. But, you know, you just be you. You do what you can. The older we get, and I guess that's something that I've been thinking a lot about here lately, is the older you get you start to, you start thinking about your mortality you know how many more days do I have left here on this earth and I had a uh, friend the other day that came to see me at the restaurant and you know, he'd been on the fire department with us for years, and he's getting up in age. And when I seen him, it just broke my heart because he had went downhill so fast. And I was like, oh my God, you know, here's this strong man that I thought of like my second daddy. You know, he he guided me through the fire department and, and showed me some ropes and, you know, and everything. And he was talking and he told me, he said, Jamie, I'm tired. 
And I said, I know you are. I said, you've lived a long life, buddy. I said, I know you're tired. I said, but you still got to fight. You got your grandbabies and, you know, your wife, Brenda, here. You know, she's really sweet and she still needs you. And, you know, just, you know, talking to him. And he, and he looked at me and he said, I want you to look me in my eyes, kid. And I looked up at him and he said, I want you to forgive me if I've ever done you wrong in any way. And my heart broke. And I said, look, I said, you have never done me wrong, but I forgive you. I'll, I'll forgive you, but you've never done anything for me to forgive you for. And he said, well, I appreciate that. And uh, I said, okay. I said, you know, you're a you're a good man and the worst thing in this world about being a manager of a restaurant is that your phone starts beaming the minute that it's your day off it, it don't start but it's okay I, I got off track a little bit because I got a text message over here from the owner so I gotta see what he wants in a few minutes and uh, but you know I started thinking about my mortality and what do I want to leave for my kids, you know? And I want my kids to, you know, appreciate life. But anyway, so I told him I forgave him. And he said thank you. And I, I just, my heart broke. My heart really broke. So, what we got left, guys? I know I get off subject. I just haven't got to talk to you all in a long time. 25, 35, 45, 55, 56, 57, and we'll put the dime back in there for the next time. So we'll just go up here and knock out 57. You know, if you, you know, and that's something, you save what you can, and you make saving fun, guys. I mean... I do watch some of these other channels and I'm thinking, wow, what do you do for a living? And I want to ask them, hey, what do you do for a living? You know, are you a doctor or are you a nurse? Because most of them won't tell you what they do for a living. And it's okay. I mean, you know, they probably don't want anybody to stalk them or, or stuff like that. But I'm just curious on some of the, the channels. What do you do? And see, my husband, he's on disability. So most of our money is disability. And then what I work is just trying to survive the month. You know, and it, it's crazy. So, if you could just save your pennies, your nickels, your dimes, or whatever, it all adds up in the end. So, we finished April, and we started on May. And two, guys, if you want to throw a dollar in there, you know, you can. If you want to put five dollars in there to make it, up, you know, to finish it. You don't have to just save change. You can put dollar bills in there too. So it'll be all good, guys. So with that said, thanks for hanging out and listening to me. And I really appreciate everybody. And I will give you all an update uh, after we find out what happens. So just keep me in your prayers, guys. And I really appreciate everybody who has cashed that. Amazon wish list. Uh, sent emails to talk. You know, because I was getting really depressed there for a while. And I know it. And I was aggravated and I was fed up. And But thanks for everybody who's reached out. I'll try to keep you posted. With that said, remember to always wear a smile. Because your smile can make somebody's day. Bye, guys.